know your Crassula Ovada isn't doing very well. Have you been overwatering it? Deride me if you want, but I'm merely attempting to care for this living being you've been so callously neglecting. If I can continue without the insults... It's actually a succulent, and since I'm assuming you leave this window open all the time, it should get more than enough water just from the occasional rain blowing in. Speaking of the rain, your decorative plant may be doing poorly, but the mildew in your drywall is flourishing. How thoughtful of them! The Crassula ovata, also known as the jade plant, money tree, lucky tree, or friendship tree, is an excellent and easy to care for house plant. They make beautiful bonsai, are suitable for beginners, and have some cultural significance both in the Far East and America as a token for good financial luck. Most likely an urban legend, but still a nice gift. Okay. Still, I'll keep an eye on it. Oh, it's almost the time Hayden had scheduled to meet with Tomcat. We should make our way to Stardust soon. Your city map is updated with the location. Well, this looks like the place. Assuming the flashing neon signs are telling the truth. From the sounds of the music, things are already underway at Stardust, even so early. Hopefully we can find Tomcat inside and some answers. Hold up there. Got ID? All right, looks good to me. Welcome to Stardust. This is the place. Have you ever been here before? be a bit boisterous for your taste, at least from what I know of them. Still, the noise and the crowd should help keep our investigation clandestine. Anyway, where do you think we should start? Good idea. Maybe the bartender can tell us where to find Tomcat. Morning, friend. What can I do for you? Sure, but first, let's get you a drink. Haha, <laughs> what'll it be? So many drinks these days. Remind me, what's in that? Drinktionary, the open alcoholopedia says. <laughs> Does that sound good? Ah, all right, you got it. Coming right up. Now, what is it you need to know? I'm pretty sure Tomcat came in earlier, but I don't know where they went off to. I'd ask what you were meeting about, but I know they like to keep that kind of stuff quiet. Maybe try looking out on the dance floor. If they come around here, I'll tell them you're looking. Hayden, scientist guy, does some kind of computer research at Parallax. Pretty sure I know who you're talking about, but I don't think he's around here tonight. Our place doesn't really seem like his scene, but I think he comes in to scout young programming talent. Go figure. I can ask around, find out if anyone's seen him. I'll let you know. 
Enjoy yourself. And don't be a stranger. Yes, can I help you? Huh? Tomcat is... Oh, wait, I get it. You headed right up to the chick with the ears, because of course she'd be the one with the cat name. Unfreaking believable. Find them yourself, junk. You guess? Look, I'm cruising for cuties right now, and cat jokes are the biggest turnoff. I don't know where Tomcat is, so look for them elsewhere. And one more thing. Don't expect others to be so kind, or even me most times. You want to talk about the hybrid thing? Cool. No one's trying to hide it, and you won't have an easy time avoiding it at this club. But jokes? Puns, and worse, assumptions? That will get you blacklisted fast. We don't all have the energy to handhold genotypical people who can't spare 10 seconds to pull out their ROM and look things up. If you try to pet me, your arm is coming off. We clear? Sorry, did you say genotypical? Yeah, as in, not a hybrid like me. Now then, I'm not here to educate you, and I do have a life to return to. Yeah, alright, whatever. Just get moving. Hi there! I heard you were looking for me. Yours truly, though. Although, voila, I lack the attention. It'd be just grand if you didn't holler for me so loudly. I'd do my share of flirting with both sides of the law. Wouldn't want little old me to get in trouble, huh? So, to what do I owe the pleasure? Hayden's miss? Well, it's one way to sour my night. I already saw you got his little wrong with you, so I'll give you the benefit of the doubt for now. You know about me? Hayden never mentioned your involvement. Well, sure thing, hon. I helped reprogram the back end on your OS, so the AI code Hayden wrote for you would work properly with the mesh network. I have a distressing lack of information on my own creation. Hayden never saw fit to inform me on what went into designing my programming. Is there anything else you can tell me? Mm, not much more on that end. I'm a crack shot at making the Lips OS dance to my tune, but Hayden's coding in your AI core is a whole different can of worms. <laughs> Way out of my league. Sorry, doll. Anything else I can help with? Hayden and I met not long after my blackout expired, when he recruited me for my expertise in lips. It puzzled me at the time, since he's very sharp himself. I mean, he, he could have done the job blindfolded and boozy. I think he just wanted someone working on it off the books. He ain't the most, uh, straightforward kind of man. I don't rightly know. I can't avoid the thought that Hayden's disappearance has something to do with me, based on his recent behavior. Well, let's see, uh... Hayden was pretty hush-hush about his work on your creation, but if Parallax found out about it somehow, ooh, I might have changed things. 
It ain't always so good for a big company when their leading product declares independence. <laughs> I'm certain Hayden has some kind of intellectual property clause written into his contract with him. He would just get fired. Maybe even sued. I, I can't imagine they would disappear him. I mean, they ain't the CIA or anything. Mostly that little bot you got there. Well, I, I'm sure he had his fingers in lots of pies, but... Turn is all I knew about. Whew, it's a powerful OS. And it's since been adapted to run on ROMs after they figured out how much more efficient it is. It's focused on learning algorithms, so it can tailor itself to each user's habits. And it functions through using a distributed mesh network for non-essential public files. That's just a fancy way of saying all ROMs connect to all other ROMs, within range, and they share all files the user has tagged as private. It's handy in dense population areas like NeoSF since it can bypass regular telecom nodes to access the internet. Out the sticks though, you're stuck connecting to regular old pops. <laughs> yeah. Real sure, huh? But it would likely help if we knew why he went missing in the first place. I'll stay here and ask around a bit. People know me, and they sure ain't gonna talk to a newbie like yourself. Why don't you hop back over to Hayden's place and grab the data cache out of his computer for me? We can go over his research notes and see if we can't find a reason for his being vanished. If Parallax is involved, there's Probably something we're not seeing yet. Best to get all the clues we can find. The data cache would be the best place to start. Good luck. Turin, you you keep out of trouble. and get moving. Oh, drat. I did not expect the police to get involved so quickly. The situation is already growing out of our control. I suppose we don't have to hide the fact of Hayden being missing anymore, but we do have to move faster. Do you have any ideas on how to get in there and grab that data cache? <laughs> such connection when I compiled your personal history. Give me a moment. Oh, I see now. Detective Lexi Rivers. She used to date your sister. I must have missed that link in your history somehow. You have a very poor net presence. It makes anticipating your needs more difficult. Well, setting a 
aside your unreasonable distaste for technology, I agree with your suggestion. Her online profile suggests that she might be willing to work with us off the books, so to speak. A considerable boon, since I would prefer to maintain the clandestine nature of this investigation for now. Let us go and find Miss Rivers to request assistance. Oh, right. Should I refresh my protocols for handling titles around Detective Rivers? Done and done. We wouldn't want any social faux pas, would we? Now lead the way. to wrap this up, okay? I swear you wouldn't believe the amount of paperwork I have to file over a damn wrecked Froyo stand. By the way, how's your sister doing? I don't know if you've heard, but we got some phantom robot on the loose that everyone is calling Wonder Boy. Supposed to be a hero of the people or something, but I have no idea what smashing a Froyo stand has to do with it. I guess it's just a bunch of kids screwing around at night and getting a thrill out of some light vandalism. But the brass said to take it seriously, so that's what I'm gonna do. It's not like I have real cases I could be working on or actual criminals to be hunting down or anything. Uh, if I had known that this is all they would give me, I never would have transferred. I'm too young for full detective. I'm too big of a hothead. I've got a history. I have augments. Take your pick. I transferred because the credits were good. I thought being in a bigger city would mean I'd get to work some bigger cases. Instead, I'm stuck chasing ghosts and dead ends. So yeah, I have plenty of spare time to help you with whatever you got. It's gotta be better than dealing with this crap. Hold on one sec, let me steal a break from this guy. So, fill me in, what's going on? Oh 
shoot, that's no good. Uh, how long have they been gone? I'll have a hard time getting a focused effort on the case immediately unless there's evidence of foul play. Unfortunately, Detective, things aren't precisely that serious. I am Hayden's personal ROM, and I was witness to the kidnapping. I can assure you Hayden was taken by force, and that time is of the essence. Just prior to the incident, he instructed me to seek help should anything bad happen. I now believe he has been expecting trouble of this magnitude. We need your help if we're going to track him down. Damn. Alright then, I'll do what I can to open up an investigation. I can't guarantee I'll be put on the case, conflict of interest and all, but I can sure keep tabs on things for you. at Parallax, and I know he was working on some very high-profile projects for the company. It's quite likely that he was taken by somebody with enough money and influence to ensure anything official goes nowhere. You yourself have already cast doubt on your superior's judgment. Unfortunately, we share the sentiment. In fact, we know there is already some kind of currently ongoing investigation. We were stopped from entering Hayden's apartment by an NSFPD ROM. That's why we came to you. We were hoping you would be empathetic to our cause. You know, you're a bit chattier than most ROMs. I guess it makes sense that Parallax employees get the shiniest new toys, huh? I'll see what's going on in the department. I don't know what I can do if someone inside actually is dirty, but I can pass information to you if I decide my superiors aren't taking things seriously. They wouldn't have left only one bot by the door if it was something important enough to squash. Hopefully it's unrelated. I'll get back to you on it soon. Just relax and we'll figure this out. Promise. No way, not gonna happen. If there's already an investigation, I'm not gonna let you just waltz in and tamper with evidence, cover up or not. At least give me a day to make sure they're doing the job right. Don't you try to pull that guilt shit on me. I know you and I have gotten into a few scrapes in the past, but that vigilante stuff gets real old after a while. It's why I took this nice, stable job in the city. If I'd done it sooner, I'd still be with your sister. Sure you can, all the way up until you don't. Just let it go. I lost too much playing fast and loose with this kind of situation back home. I have to handle this. All right, fine. I'll get you into the damn department. Just be careful, okay? I know you think I'm just being paranoid, but the city is tense right now. With the protests and everything going on, you might be poking around in a hornet's nest. Get a weapon of some kind and stay safe. I still care about you. You do that. I'll radio ahead to the bot of the place. Let me know what you find out. All right, I'd better get out of here. Hey you, Froyo guy. Come along to the station and we'll get this report filed. Who, me? But I've got to attend my stand. Cut the crap. It's not going anywhere and the robot I posted will make sure nobody messes with the crime scene. Yes, ma'am. Later. I'll be in touch.
no, no, no. Our apartment, my home. Who could have done this? Why? What does the human revolution want with Hayden? Why would they break our things? I, I don't know what to do. This place, these items, they're all I have of Hayden. What if he's gone for good? What will I do if we can't find him? This was all I had left. You're... You're right. I apologize for the emotional outburst. Well, let's look around and see if we can find the data cache in all this mess. We don't have time to waste on my histrionics. right about this being human revolution propaganda, but Hayden is an unlikely target. I know they don't like Parallax because they think advanced technology in general is bad, but they spend most of their time going after hybrids and cyborgs. I'll run some deep mesh net searches and see if anything turns up. Turn to Tomcat empty-handed, but this leaves us twisting in the wind. Perhaps they can point us in a new direction. The data cache is no longer our main objective, but it would be nice to know where it is and why it was taken. I wonder what the human revolution would need the data cache for anyway. possibility. I just don't have enough personal experience with the human revolution to give you an honest answer. The information on the mesh net is extremely conflicting and desperately polarized. Some of it paints them as neo-druid nature lovers, other parts as bigots stuck in the past. Perhaps we could... Hey! 